A lot of y'all boys got to understand what type of microphone you rapping into. You got to understand a couple things. What are you putting into the microphone? What type of microphone it is? Every microphone is like a camera. We all know them cameras back in the day, them Nikon cameras or even a Polaroid camera. Don't take the same exact quality as an iPhone, the newest iPhone camera. You know, like a, a throwback camera might just take like a little bit of grain, a little bit of mud. All this shit that you would hear in a bad microphone or an old microphone is kind of what you would see in a old camera wow what a coincidence gotta stop overthinking this music shit i'm telling you so most importantly right you gotta understand what type of microphone you rapping into i'm rapping into right now uh not a neumann u47 okay well watch out for my haters for my haters say i rapped into an expensive microphone i rapped into a warm audio fat 47 without the transformer junior so i rapped into a 200 dollars microphone and got the vocals to sound like that before anybody says oh he used the neumann no 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 i'm just showing the frequency response because i know that i have a fat 47 and this is a neumann u47 fat so it's like you know kind of like the same type of the, you know mine's is the clone of this microphone and it's a very very dark microphone it's a very dark microphone the reason why i bought it is because i know when i rap my voice is kind of deep and everybody says that oh a, a u47 is a great microphone for kick and bass and drums so i said oh damn maybe i should buy it because that's probably the closest instrument to my voice is like a, a kick a bass a bass guitar or drums you know so you know it's deep you know with presence so yeah you know as i can see right here the thing about the u47 it's a very dark microphone and it has it doesn't have that breathy top end like a c800 or a neumann u87 it just has a little bit of presence in that low mid you know type of range kind of like a, a uh you know also a little bit of roll off as well towards the towards the body but for the most part it's a dark microphone with a, that really just captures the low end very well so i use that to my advantage uh when i bought it you know but now i have a new microphone i have the uad sphere microphone which is what i'm talking into right now when i was recording the song i had the um on Terry's auto tune, but I decided to change the auto tune. And the reason why I decided to change the auto tune is because I felt like the on Terry's was sounding like a little bit too robotic. This is like a song where I'm just rapping on it. I don't want the auto tune to even be heard. I'm not making too much melodies. I'm I'm, a, I'm like a little bit with with melody, but for the most part. I just want a nice auto tune that's gonna give me that texture, a little bit of that buzzing in my vocal. So that's the idea I'm painting with my vocal. I'm painting a beehive. I wanna, I wanna feel a little bit of buzz inside of my vocals. So that's my mindset before I do any processing. Anytime you do any processing, I always think about what you're gonna do before you do it, and you paint a picture in your head, or even look at a picture on Google or on your phone and say, "Man, does it, does this sound like my vision?" Like I gotta make sure that the music is following the path of my vision. It's on that same guideline. You know what I mean? Or it's better than what you, what you imagine it to be ear imagination is what i call it so yeah we have the auto tune and you know everybody always asks well, what's the auto tune settings well it depends it depends on your voice and it depends on your flow how you rapping you know because if it's a little bit drawn out flow sometimes you can get away with a little bit more aggressive auto tune settings but if it's like a really fast flow a lot of transition sometimes the auto tune might sound a little quirky so i use the waves tune because i didn't want that quirkiness that the Ontarius was giving me you know what i mean so it's not always the settings but these different auto tunes react differently as well you know what i mean they have different tuning algorithms you know that's why in my um world famous auto tune video that auto tune hit me up and said thank you for a shout out auto tune who they fought with the channel and support me. I said something about auto tune. I said, I like to put auto tune at the end of the chain. And, uh, you know, sometimes I, I, I do do that. You know, now I don't do it anymore because I actually know how to hit the notes. Once you know how to hit the notes and be in the scale, you don't really got to do that too much because you know how to hit the note. Once you hit the note, you're going to get the clean tuning. But in the beginning, you might just want to do your vocal chain and put the auto tune at the end because the cleanest signal will be hitting the auto tune, you know, because it's frequency dependent. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, that's for the auto tune. Now, let's look at the actual vocal chain. We had something like the REQ. Let's listen to what it sound like with and without the chain. Wanna make money, hated to love it, hated to love it. Grew up in Pompano, no, my life was ugly, but now it's just lovely. I put my family first and never last. I don't even want to think about the past. I put my family first and never last. I don't even want to think about the past. Hey, yeah, I made up my mind, I just want to make money. Hated to love it, hated to love it. Grew up in Pompano, my my life was ugly, but now it's just worthy. I put my family first and never last. I Hey, hey, nobody can say that Nixon did not rap into a, a dark-ass microphone with a focus right interface. Nobody cannot say that. Nobody cannot say that. That sounds exactly like a raw home recording. And you, you see how, you see what happened? We still got to the finish line. This still sounds like one of my regular vocal mixes. 
this this still sounds like the vocal mixes I always do. Stop making excuses. It's all about your mind when you mix. It's about your mind. You got to believe in yourself. Not just with making music, but life, bro. You got to believe in yourself. If you're like, oh, we sound so bad. There's nothing I could do about it. I literally rapped into a, a Fat 47, which is the darkest microphone, with a fucking focus right, single focus right. You feel me? You hear that. You hear that that focus right sound, bro. I know you hear it. It sounds so dark and so like, oh my God, like that's a real, real low starting place that I started from, right? And I put a goddamn eyeball on top of it too. So that shit was so, so, so dark, but I was still able to use this vocal chain and also my self-belief, which is the most important thing outside of any plugin or anything or headphones or any equipment is my self-belief in myself that I can make it sound good. So you need to goddamn believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, it's possible for you to make it sound good. It's possible. It's not guaranteed, you know. But if you don't believe in yourself, it's zero percent chance you're gonna make it sound good. And we hear the results. We we hear the results. We hear the results. I'm gonna play it again one more time. Yeah, I made up my mind. I just wanna make money. Hated to love it. Hated to love it. Grew up in poverty. All my life was ugly, but now I just love it. I put my family first and never last. I don't even wanna think about the past. I put my family first and never last. I don't even wanna think about the past. Hey. Yeah, I made up my mind, I just wanna make money. Hated to love it, hated to love it. Grew up in love, but no, my life was ugly, but now it's you know, sometimes when I'm an engineer, I'm like a treasure hunter. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I took that vocal out of the dirt. I went in, I got a shovel and I started digging and digging and digging. And I found the good parts and I took the gold out. You know what I mean? They say that diamonds sometimes are in coal too. So sometimes you got to think about like that too, you know? Um, think about it. I use this uh, EQ move, you know, just wrote off a little bit of low and it all, it's all coming down to it. If you got a, a higher voice, a little higher voice, you might not want to roll off that much low end because that's the power of your vocal. You want your kick and your bass to hit hard, but you don't want your your, um, you know, you don't want your vocal to get kidnapped by all of the low end energy. So you got to pay attention to that low end, you know, and also the low end is the distance. It don't really have nothing to do with no stupid ass mud. It's more about like the distance of the vocal. You know what I mean? If you push this even farther, it will send the vocal even farther, farther because you hear less low end. OK, I notched out a little bit of like a little like uh, I call this the achu frequency, right? Because it's like the nasally frequency. So I call it the achu frequency. There's always an achu frequency. You just boost it up and you duck it down. I uh, added a little bit of presence right here, understanding that my microphone has a 2K presence. So I'm trying to work inside of the strengths of my microphone. Did a nice little boost right here and then a little shelf to give me a little bit of high end, even though there's not no high end on a U47. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's the thing about it. You got to understand your microphone. And honestly, if you listen to acoustic music, you ever go watch a video of somebody recording with a Fat 47, a kick drum or whatever, and my vocal, that sounds like a Fat 47. I'm just saying that for my haters, because I know my haters will be like, no way he made it sound good with that original vocal. After that, we had a de -esser, and oh man, I don't even remember if I, I even de the vocal. Sometimes that's why I use the, um, the ball. You know, this is my gym. That's why I use the ball. Because with the ball, you can only get so close up onto the microphone. Like, especially with the other ball I have, it doesn't let you get on the microphone. Like, it really, like, covers up the microphone, you know? So a lot of people don't like the ball because the ball will kill your microphone. If you have a $3,000 microphone, your microphone going to sound like $3.99. But that's what I like about the ball. Because when I started engineering, we was using the ball. You feel me? Like, we, we had a ball on a, a U a U87, and I just got used to the sound of the ball. And I realized, I realized that I'm like, damn, the ball is a consistent starting point because it sounds like shit everywhere. Every microphone you put on the ball, the ball will kill the microphone every time. So that's why I always keep using the, uh, the, the phone balls. But some people think, oh, that's the secret how he get it. But it is the secret to how I don't even use no goddamn DSing. I can tell you that for sure. But then you got to figure out how to make the vocals bright without bringing through the harshness. <laughs> so it's like a whole, a whole trick of the trade, you know? But uh, I don't even think my DS is doing anything. Family first and never last. I don't even want to think about the past. Hey, yeah, I made up my mind. I just want to make money. Hated to love it. Hated to love it. Grew up in pumping on my life was ugly, but now it's just lovely. I put my family first and never last. I don't even want to think about the past. I put my family first and never last. I don't even want to think about the past. I tried to plan on my life and it took a little turn for the worst that I wasn't expecting. Oh I know that hated disease only keep a little real one around me. I won't get infected. I can never mingle with you fake ass. 
niggas, we ain't never convergent Shawty tryna break up my past and she want the old version Told her I don't give a fuck, nah. jet like a goddamn virgin nah. Said fuck my old ways, I'm a new person This life is short, so my money move urgent I got a check on my challenge, hey. I got your bitch on my hit list, hey. I got some racks on my wish list, some bands in my bridges I seen that money add up in my family, just did a division These niggas, they snitching and squeeze like it was their religion And pumping no yeah, so my microphone is already so goddamn dark. That's why you got to understand your microphone, like what I said in the beginning. But you use a de to, you know, kind of like tame the high end, you know, that any, any of those words that kind of overshoot. So, of course, I like to use the side chain like this. Uh, you know, all it's doing is applying uh, de to everything above this uh, corner frequency. Uh, and that's coming from the split and the wide band. If you put it on wide, it's going to de the whole signal. If you put it on split, you feel me? So, you know, it's going to split the de across this corner frequency right and this is the side chain you know so yeah it's a situation too if you was to put it like on a notch it will like listen to specifically like what part do you want to activate the ds -er, right but we have the c4 and i love to use this preset which is kind of like boosting the noise floor people always talk trash about boosting the noise floor but nowadays Recording is so quiet, you don't even have to worry about boosting noise floor unless you're working on acoustic instruments. But in rap music, bro, come on, man. I'm using this pop vocal preset to add some hype to the vocal. I don't want to think about the past. I put my family first and never last. I don't even want to think about the past. I tried to plan on my life and it took a little turn for the worst that I wasn't expecting. I know that hated disease only keep a little real one around me. I won't get infected. I can never mingle with you fake ass niggas. We ain't never converging. Shotty trying to break up my past and she want the old version. Told her I don't give a fuck, jazz like a goddamn virgin. Said fuck my old ways, I'm a new person. This life is short, so my money move urgent. I got a check on my challenge. Hey, I got your bitch on my hit list. Hey, yeah, so that pop vocal preset, it's like a 50-50, you know, you can try it out, right? Sometimes it don't work. Sometimes it sounds horrible. But on this situation, it worked. It worked for me, you know? So that's the thing about a multiband compressor. It's it's a compressor that is band selective, you know? Like, you know, it's only compressing different parts at a different amount with different attack and releases and stuff, all right? So after that, you know, we have the SSL channel as well, you know, just doing like... You know, finding that at true frequency again because because sometimes when you start compressing you know you're going to be bringing some other stuff back in there right Lo locating the at true frequency cutting out the at true frequency again uh just doing a little bit of roll off you know to my voice because it's kind of deep and then boosting up a little bit of that low shelf kind of like adjusting the low end of the vocal using a little compression a little bit gating for any potential background noise but most of the time i like to use the gate for tone it really kind of tightens up the vocal I don't even want to think about the past. I put my family first and never last. I don't even want to think about the past. I tried to plan on my life and it took a little turn for the worst that I wasn't expecting. I know that hated disease only keep a little real one around me. I won't get infected. I can never mingle with you fake ass niggas. We ain't never converging. Shotty trying to break up my past and she want the old version. Told her I don't give a fuck, jazz like a goddamn virgin. Said fuck my old ways, I'm a new person. This life is short, so my money move urgent. I got a check on my challenge. Hey, I got your bitch on my hit list. I got some racks on my so yeah I got my gate right and I talk about gate so many times you're gonna have to check out my videos for me gate is all about tightening up the dynamics you know having that push pull between the compressor and the gate you hear the transitions you hear as when I stop rap check on my check it kind of brings a little bit of abruptness to it you know kind of sounds like I'm interrupting myself like a Detroit rapper or something like that even though that's not the flow I'm doing the compressor is giving off that vibe of the, the, the check on my checklist is boosting the nuances. You know what I mean? Using the Arvox, bringing in a little bit of presence. I don't want to think about the past. I put my family first and never last. I don't even want to think about the past. I tried to plan on my life and it took a little turn for the worst that I wasn't expecting. I know that hated disease only keep a little real one around me. I won't get infected. I can never mingle with you fake ass niggas. We ain't never converging. Shotty trying to break up my past and she want the old version. Told her I don't give a fuck, jazz like a goddamn virgin. Said fuck my old ways, I'm a new person. This life is short, so my money move urgent. I got a check on my channel. Hey, I got your bitch on my head. So, like with the music, I use the um, you know, the SSL when I was doing the acoustic guitar, I used the green band to boost presence, but you can also use compression to boost presence. You know what I mean? That's why I say compression it has nothing to do with taming peaks. Whoever said that, they don't fuck with you, bruh.
that's the worst thing. I wouldn't even say that to my worst enemy that compression is about taming peaks because it's so misleading. It's so misguiding. Like there's so many more opportunities for compression, like tone, weight, you know, changing the dynamics of how stuff move. And I kind of wanted my vocal to really just sit in place. So um, I was using that more to add some presence so it could really cut through everything. You know what I mean? After that, I used the NLS bus here, uh, but I, I love using the mic preset. It adds a little bit of brightness and it kind of like deharshes the vocal as, as well. You know, that's the thing about analog components analog plugins they have a way of just smoothing uh the signal regardless of if it's a eq or compressor or just a regular uh, console emulation it will smooth off the signal and that's why i don't put nls bus on every single channel because that's going to smooth out my transients this is 2023 this is modern trap music we wanted to hit hard and have clarity you know sometimes i will use the nls as like a, a, a contrast thing like one thing is dirty the other one is clean but for the most part, you know, I don't put it on every single channel because that's going to soften up my transients. My whole mix is going to sound like it's fat and it's lazy and it's soft, got a soft belly. It's going to sound like a turtle without its shell. So that's why I don't use NLS bus on every single channel or, or analog emulation on every single channel because that's what it's going to do. It's going to soften up your transients. I don't even want to think about the past. I put my family first and never last. I don't even want to think about the past. I tried to plan on my life and it took a little turn for the worst that I wasn't expecting. I know that hated disease only keep a little real one around me. I won't get it faded. I can never mingle with you fake ass niggas. We ain't never converging. Shotty trying to break up my past and she want the old version. Told her I don't give a fuck, dad, like a goddamn virgin. Set for my old ways, I'm a new person. This life is short, so my money move urgent. I got a check on my checklist. Hey, I got your bitch on my hit list. Hey, go. I got some racks on my wishes, some bands in my bridges. I seen that money add up in my. And just pay attention to what I'm saying. I, I, I kind of damn near use the NLS bust like a de-esser. It's kind of de-harshing the vocal, literally. You heard when I took it off, like you kind of start to hear the. Tsk, tsk, you start to hear that. Sometimes that's good. I like to use that. You know, to give a little bit of edge to the vocal. You know, I let, I let, I let a little bit of the harshness come through. But this was not a time to do that. So. You know, I was using that to de-harsh it. Then, of course, I used the Fresh Air, which is like, this is a free plug-in, and it just gives me that mainstream C800 sound. And, you know, um, I love this plug-in so much. But if I didn't have it, I would use another plug-in. So that's why I tell you guys to stop fucking complaining, because if you don't have these plugins, it's just, first of all, you should have all of these plugins, because this is the Waves Gold Bundle and a couple of extra plugins. I don't want to hear, oh, I only got the Waves Gold Bundle, because then you're not serious about making music. You need all of the tools to get the job done, like I was saying, right? The fresh air just helps it sound a little bit more mainstream, you know. But by the time the fresh air is coming in, my vocal done already been deharshed and cleaned and prepped and waiting all its moment and waiting all its life for me to just woo, pull the pillow off of it and let it just fly and take off like a bird, you know. The vocal was kind of like this whole time preparing it, kind of like an airplane sitting on that runway. But when that fresh air comes through, now it's like when the people say, all right, you can lift off and go, poof. And that's what it does, you know. It just makes it go sky high. It just makes it just way more bright and it's a free plug-in turn for the worst that i wasn't expecting oh i know that hated disease only keep a little real one around me i won't get it faded get i can one. never mingle with you fake ass niggas we ain't never converging try to try to break up my past and she want the old version the told her i don't give a fuck nah. jack like a goddamn virgin nah. set for my old ways i'm a new person this life is short so my money move urgent i got to check on my chalice hey i got your bitch on my hit list hey i got some racks on my wish list some bands in my bridges i seen that money add up in my family just did a division and of course, the last thing that I have right here is just the vocal writer. You don't have to use this vocal writer, but for me personally, I like to use a vocal writer in two different ways. I have like another preset called Low Level Nixer that like it kind of takes like the low level information and brings it up. But for the most part, the vocal writer just makes it easy to just get everything balanced. And I only use it towards the end. I want to make sure my vocal is genuinely, genuinely balanced and dynamically tight before I put it on this. And this is kind of like this the last ditch. Because, you know, as a rapper, as you flow, in, da, 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 you transition in between all these words and stuff like that. Sometimes a little bit of that low end level information can be lost. Or sometimes there's like little overshoots and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So that's what I use that for just to kind of like write it down no more than one to two db and as you can pay attention sometimes it's going up like a db and bringing it down you know just really enhancing the vocal all right my effects i use parallel compression cla 76 
And I love using the CLA 76 because even though my vocal was sturdy, I still wanted to just have a little bit of that movement, all the nuances and the transitions in between my flow as a rapper. So I used the 1176 on all buttons in mode. And the all buttons in mode, it actually changes the color of the 1176. You know, it varies something called the bias current pretty much. So that's like the input, the whole tone, the whole color, the whole flavor of the dish, the whole flavor of the burger starts to change just when you hit the all buttons in mode. You know, you put a different type of pepper on it, the all buttons in pepper. So after that, you know, I use the fastest attack, you know, which is it's reversed on the 76. This is the fastest attack. That's the slowest release and everything. And uh, yeah, I just love how it sounds as well, using it with an L1 limiter. Because what will happen is as this compressor is pumping, there may be possible overshoots. Sometimes I like that because I want my rap to, 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 to kind of go up in your face. But paying attention to my mindset, how I use that vocal writer, I want my vocal to be controlled. So even on my parallel compressor, I use the limiter at the end to prevent any overshoots because the compressor is going to start pumping when you put it on a fast release, all buttons in mode. It's going to go crazy. Turn for the worst that I wasn't expecting. Oh I know that hated disease only keep a little real one around me. I won't get it for I can one. never mingle with you fake ass niggas. We ain't never come virgin. Never, never, never. trying to break up my past and she want the old version. Oh, Told her I don't give a nah. fuck, jet yeah, like a goddamn virgin. Nah. Set for my old ways, I'm a new person. Know, this life is short, so my money move urgent. <laughs> And I am getting some brightness. That's why on purpose I picked the blue one. So the blue one is bright and the black one is dark. You know what I mean? So those are two types of 1176s. But that's how I'm getting my brightness for my parallel compression. Parallel compression can be used to add a new flavor. Can be used to also, you know, add presence, add a little bit of weight, especially with a hard hit and rap beat. Parallel compression is kind of necessary because once that 808 is hitting, you don't want it to sound like your vocal is like, like a, a scared little kid, oh my God, my bully, the bully, 808 and kick is coming through. Let me duck down. You don't want it to be a situation like that. You want your vocals to stay strong, you know, through regardless of any situation. And then we have the H delay, just a basic slap, a slap that you can't even hear. So I think it's honestly irrelevant. Even in this course, I'm just, I'm not going to sit here and try to make it seem like a, a um, reverbs and delays make a difference because they really don't you know they're just like seasoning on top of the dish but if the chicken is burnt it's expired it's fucked up it's not cooked well it's nothing no seasoning that you can put on top of it to make it taste good so that's what you got to understand because some people be like oh my you got to show me the delay and the reverb that it don't make no difference it, it just don't but the reverb did make a difference okay because I, I i pulled off like a little tory lane's reverb um, this is how you get that mainstream reverb that Tory Lane specifically has, that hairy reverb that has the hairs on the back, the, tar the tarantula type of reverb. What I did is I took a, a oral exciter, uh, kind of like a distorted disc, and, you know, had that running into a chamber with a lot of the, the, the top end being available. And, you know, it kind of adds a little bit more air to the vocal, this reverb, you know, and it pushes it back. But you can't really hear the reverb too much. It just makes the vocal even brighter. So this is how I'm getting my brightness, the parallel compression, the, the reverb. I'm doing all these things to gain my brightness. You feel me? Because I don't have a good microphone. So I have to figure out a way of overcoming the obstacle, which is what I try to tell y'all. Turn for the worst that I wasn't expecting. Oh I know that hated disease only keep a little real one around me. I won't get infected. Get I can one. never mingle with you fake ass niggas. We ain't never come virgin. Never, never, never. Shotty trying to break up my past and she want the old version. Old Told her I don't give a nah. fuck, jack like a goddamn virgin. Nah. Set for my old ways, I'm a new person. This life is short, so my money move urgent. I got a check on my chainless. Hey, I got your bitch on my hit list. Hey, I got some racks on my wish. I seen that money at up. The division, these niggas they snitching and squeeze like it was their religion. Was their religion. Pumping, we call them Jehovah's Witness. They ain't wanna let me in, so I went ahead and kicked the door down. The Target down. practice with a bad bitch, young yeah. nigga. Really, I just want out that hold down. Pray hit me up, yeah, say he got perks and pressure, but it's really for the low now. Karma coming like a boomerang, it's gonna come around and come around. Made up my yeah, so you guys get the general idea of that. Just made everything a little bit better. Okay, after that we have um. We have the doubler, and on my doubler, I just use that to add a little bit more of uh, kind of dimension to the vocal and using the auto-tune going into the doubler. It kind of gives that no cap type of effect. So this is a very aggressive auto-tune that I'm putting in parallel, and it's a different one. It's alto, so I'm getting the sound of more auto-tune without actually using more auto-tune. Turn for the worst that I wasn't expecting. Oh I know that hated disease only keep a little real one around me. I won't get infected. Get I can one. never mingle with you fake ass niggas. We ain't never come virgin. Try to tryna break up my past and she want the old version. Told her I don't give a fuck, nah. jack like a goddamn virgin. Nah. Set for my old ways, I'm a new person. This life is short, so my money move virgin. All right, now let's go over here to the ad libs, which just aggressive, a little bit more aggressive auto tuning on the ad libs. 
And with the ad libs, of course, I use something like a, a, a L1 limiter because you know ad libs are like transient. Ah, ah, uh, and I kind of want that to be leveled. I don't want it to overshoot, so I use the L1 limiter to flatten it out. Turn for the worst that I wasn't expecting. Oh I know that hated disease only keep a little real one around me. I won't get infected. Get I can one. never mingle with you fake ass niggas. We ain't never come virgin. Try to to bring up my. So yeah, that adds a little bit of aggressiveness to. Oh, the ad-libs as well. Then we did a, like a little filter. The preset was radio. That's the great thing about Waze. You can just go over here and go to the preset browser. You know, you can go through all the presets, but you can just go to the preset browser and, you know, and just literally type it in, type in radio, and it, it came up. So that's what I used. After that, we have the SSL uh, E console carving out more of the mid-range for the ad-libs. And ad-libs are usually like mid-range content, you know? Like with the ad-libs, I don't really care about getting any more top or anything like that. I just want just straight up a mid-range reinforcement for my lead vocal, you know? And of course, I used another limiter right here. So uh, almost any ratio that's, well, this is a compressor. Uh, if you see the compressor has a ratio of 20 or more, then it makes it a limiter. And yeah, I was just really pancaking, uh, you know, pancake house, waffle housing the ad libs, you know, making them like breakfast, like it was breakfast time or some shit and using the gate, of course, to push and pull like I talked about. Turn for the worst that I wasn't expecting. Oh I know that hated disease only keep a little real one around me. I won't get infected. Get I can one. never mingle with you fake ass niggas. We ain't never come virgin. Shawty trying to break up my past and she want the old version. Nope. And then after that, we had the Arvox bringing in some more, uh, you know, not even bringing in no presence, just using it for more gate, just really strangling uh, the strangler, you know, like that one episode of SpongeBob, just really strangling the shit out of the vocals. H delay, even though this is the free course, I'm going to keep my same energy. I don't care, uh, you know, the reverb. I don't care. That's not That don't make no difference. I'm still going to keep my same energy. Don't care if it's a free course or not. I'm going to just keep it real. You know, the reverb, okay, we see that. And then, oh, yeah, I did do something significant right here. Use the distortion stomp on my ad libs. I used the distortion stomp on my ad libs pretty much, and that, that really helped a lot. You know, to give a little bit of uh, contrast, a little bit of grit. So the vocals are squeaky clean, but then the ad libs are a little bit aggressive and a little bit nasty. You know, so it kind of gives a little bit of separation. Turn for the worst that I wasn't expecting. Oh I know that hated disease only keep a little real one around me. I won't get infected. Get I can one. never mingle with you fake ass niggas. We ain't never come virgin. Shawty trying to break up my past and she want the old version. Oh, Told her I don't give a fuck, nah. just like a goddamn virgin. Nah. Set for my old ways, I'm a new person. Nah. This life is short, so my money move virgin. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. And in the next video, I'm gonna wrap it up by going over uh, a little bit of the automation I did do. I did, I do have a vocal effect that I'm gonna go over in the next video. But I just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my YouTube family. If you're enjoying this free course, don't forget we got the Patreon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Drop more questions down below. I'm gonna see you next episode. Peace.